heard was Celebration Fanfare, originally composed for orchestra by Stephen Reinecke while he was on Swan's Island in Maine in 1995. The fanfare commemorates Eric Kunzel's 30th anniversary as conductor of the Cincinnati Pops Orchestra. Who are they? Uh, the band's transcription of this piece was first performed by a military band in 2003, our very own United States Army Continental Army Band. Yeah. And the second piece you heard was a lively, kind of humorous piece by John Philip Sousa, a novelty actually not considered much of a march, was Easter Monday on the White House lawn. Our first conductor alumni, uh, Major Retired William H. L. Garlett, served as commander and conductor of the United States Continental Army Band from June 1990 to July 1992. Upon retirement, his accomplishments include performance with the New York City Ballet Orchestra, teaching graduate studies at Old Dominion University and Catholic Universities, and he currently conducts the Chesapeake Bay Wind Ensemble, which rehearses, I think, in our old band hall. Excuse me, your old band hall. <laughs> An expert in literature by Percy Granger, tonight he brings his interpretation of Granger's Molly on the Shore. Percy Aldridge Granger, uh, was an Australian-born composer, arranger, and pianist, and musical innovator who enlisted as a U.S. Army bandsman in 1917. And in 1918, he became a U.S. citizen. This piece contrasts two Irish reels, Temple Hill with Molly on the Shore, and presents the melodies in a, a variety of textures and orchestrations as it features all the sections of the band, especially the clarinets and saxophones. <laughs> On the podium, Major Retired Garlett. <laughs> 